Hi, this is Lisa Rangel of Chameleon Resumes, the premier executive resume writing company. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to grow your LinkedIn network genuinely. And this is a, a topic that's near and dear to my heart. Um, I've been on LinkedIn, you know, a paid member, at least since uh, 2007. And, you know, I've seen LinkedIn take all sorts of forms in, in terms of groups, in terms of connections, in terms of follows, in terms of what you're allowed to do and what, and then you're not allowed to do. And then maybe you get that privilege back a little bit, you know, based on the functions that LinkedIn is constantly introducing and frankly, even taking away at some point. Um, and, I, and I believe that some of those takeaways happen because people abuse them. So um, I wanna talk about how do you grow your LinkedIn network organically? Because amongst my peers, there's a lot of talk about how to grow your followers and how to grow your likes and how to grow your connections. And, and I don't always think more is better. And most importantly, more doesn't always mean genuine. And I wanna show you whether you are a fellow uh, resume writer, job search coach, career professional, or most importantly, my people, I want to show job seekers how to do this genuinely. So most importantly, you get hiring managers calling you back, you get your network uh, giving you referrals, you're helping your network, and ultimately you land a job. So that's why I'm here today, and thank you so much for joining me. All right, so let's dive in today. So um, the first thing in growing your network organically, I'm sorry, growing your network genuinely, which will lead to it being an organic growth, is I want you to, you know, f follow people you're interested in first. You know, follow people at companies where you wanna be first. I find that, you know, if you're following them, then you're able to see their information, you'll see what they post, you're getting to know them from a virtual, you know, place afar, and you can then, soon which leads to number two lead you know come up with a personalized approach in reaching out to them because then you've followed them you've seen what they you know like to talk about you've seen what their company is doing if it's a target company and you're a job seeker um, and and you're not just you know asking for the connection and then telling them what you want which is typically how i get approached you know many times a day and i see other people do it all the time so you know consider taking a softer approach and follow first and then number two, reach out with a genuinely personalized, you know, very short approach. And it's not self-serving or cheesy. You know, people are busy. They just want to know why you're reaching out to them, even, whether it's an article you wrote or whether it's, um, you know, a post that they had and you're, you thought it was a great comment or, you know, comment on their posts as a follower first, then reach out to them. But the key is then there's where the, the, the re online relationship building can start in, you know, from a place of watching what that person, that target person posts. And then you can come up with a formalized approach either through in-mail or you know, reaching out with a connection request based on them being maybe more familiar with you, you because you've been commenting on their posts for maybe the last two, three weeks. So you know, I find that that's a genuine, it's a way to be, have, be genuine in your approach. And then you know, that follow ultimately leads to a connection in many, many cases, whether they're reaching out to you to connect or you're reaching out to them to connect. So again, that's a, a genuine approach with a genuine, that ultimately leads to a genuine connection. Um, next, you know, I also want you to I also want you to caution or have caution when LinkedIn is making recommendations to you um, to reach out to people for a connection or to reach out to somebody because they work at a company that you're interested in or you just applied to a job at a certain company online so now LinkedIn is suggesting that you reach out to this person because you're connected to them and they work there you know before you act on the suggestion you know, take a minute to read the person's profile. Genuinely see if that LinkedIn algorithm that's generating that recommendation to you is correct, right? Um, you know, put the personalized approach in the technological recommendation is really what that is. And that to me is really where I think job seekers or business owners looking for business or wherever the LinkedIn connection needs to take place, that to me is where I think people truly succeed is when they take the power of technology, right? Say a suggested recommendation or, or a suggested connection. Um, and then take a personalized manual approach by evaluating that person's profile, determining if that is the right person to reach out to despite 
the technological recommendation. And then coming up with a personalized brief approach in reaching out to that person. And so I think when you marry technology and just good old fashioned networking common sense, that's really where your job search, you know, starts to get tra it gets traction or your business development efforts get traction because it's not just cutting and pasting and and sending out to 600 people, nor is it, um, you know, which is very manual, but also looks cut and pasted. And, you know, you're not just clicking, you know, invite, invite, connect, connect, you know, click on the recommendation. You're not just clicking and, and, and not taking into consideration the human element of it. So. I think you got to marry technology with the personal and the manual and, and put it all together. And that's where you start to get traction and having your LinkedIn network grow genuinely. Um, now, if you've liked these tips and you can see yourself putting them to use, then I'm going to encourage you to reach out, I'm sorry, to sign up for my next free LinkedIn training that I'm going to have uh, this week. And I want you to go down to the description there and register because I'm going to cover seven aspects of the LinkedIn profile that I have found um, bring the most eyeballs and opti when optimized properly bring the most eyeballs to your profile. And I'm going to give you three activities that you can do on LinkedIn that I find bring the most views to your profile. And if you have the right people viewing your profile and then they reach out to you, that's how you get interviews. So that's what I wanna show you. So go down below there in the description, you'll see the link to register for my next free LinkedIn training. And I look forward to seeing you there. If you've liked this video or you know, then like it, if you know someone who can benefit from it, I ask you to share it. Feel free to comment below, um, email me at lr at chameleonresumes.com. I read and reply to every comment and email. And most importantly, register for my free training session down below. And this way you will get to see and hear me once again. And look forward to seeing you at the, on the training session and in the next video next week. Take good care.